we are going to make a butternut squash. I'm going to show you how to make mine. I've already cut my oven on to 375. And uh, I've cut the end off. The, the little end that grows, I've cut it off. And I hope I, hope I don't cut my hand doing this. Uh, I don't have the sharpest knife in the world. But uh, we're going to try this. And I'm not going to peel it. You know, I may want to try to do it like this. I'm just afraid I'm going to cut my hand. Lord, wouldn't that be awful? I have to end up at the hospital today. I bought this at Aldi's the other day. And uh, they had some big ones. But I got the small one because I know they're hard to cut. Or, or for me. Uh, except I had a de decent knife. It wouldn't be bad. But uh, for me, it's hard with this knife. Guess I'm going to have to invest in a new knife. <sighs> Seems like you had to always... Uh, and I guess I could have took the tag off, couldn't I? <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna leave the tag on there. Shoot! All right, let's see if I can get this through there. Mama made these all the time, and I'll probably make mine different than a lot of people. Uh, it's not gonna be even, but that's okay. I know a lot of people drizzle it with olive oil, uh, put salt and pepper. Uh, some people peel them, but the way I'm going to do it is I uh, slather it with butter, and then I will, when it gets done or close to done, I'll add some. Uh, Excuse me just a minute. I'll add some uh, cinnamon and brown sugar. It also makes like a, a, you're getting a vegetable, but you're kind of getting a sweet also. Uh, one half I may just use honey, and then the other half use the brown sugar. Of course, I can't eat all this tonight, but... Uh, would those seeds look uh, they look dried out see how easy they're coming out and if you have a place to have a garden save these seeds I don't I don't have a place to have one so uh, I won't save the seeds I might save a couple and see if I can start them in a in a uh, flower pot. These seeds are really odd. Ooh, it smells good. Let me take this over here for a minute. Wash my hand and the inside. Okay, so the inside's stringy, kind of like a pumpkin, and I couldn't get every bit of that out, and that's okay. I'm going to lay it down here on this cookie sheet, or pizza pan. My, uh, I was going to put it in a glass baking pan, but it wasn't going to fit, so just have to do it like this. Hope everybody's doing okay. Having a wonderful day. Uh, we went out today for a little bit. Me and Bailey. Since my youngest son's been gone, I've been kind of depressed and haven't been doing much. Just kind of moping around. So today we did get out. Uh, 
I took Bailey to play ball at the park, and then we went to uh, Walmart. So, I still don't feel too good, but anyways, you got to do what you got to gotta do. You got to keep on living, don't you? I'm going to put a piece of parsnip in the baby. I almost fell. A piece of parsnip paper down. And my butter, uh, it's not melted. So what I'm going to do, Bailey, she's y'all, she's gotten so she uh, stays under my feet a lot. Okay, the oven's on. I'm just going to like smear Smear some butter on. Just like you would if you was going to use olive oil. It's not melted enough to use my, my brush. I'm just smear it in with some butter. And like I say, you can do olive oil. You can spray it with Pam. You can do it, you know, do it the way you want. But to me, the butter just brings out the flavor. And it's good butter. It's the the doctor ordered butter. Okay, and I'm not going to put nothing. Yeah, I am too. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of brown sugar on it now so that it'll kind of soak in as it's cooking. hope y'all can hear me. I'm up here getting this butter off my hands. What y'all been doing? Y'all have y'all cooked any fall squash yet? Uh, Kroger's is supposed to be having the pumpkin pie, the pumpkin pie pumpkin on sale. I think that's from a week. And I'm gonna go get, I don't know. Maybe a couple, and then uh, cook them and put them in the, uh, scrape it out and put it in the, in the freezer for pumpkin pies. Some brown sugar. And after the brown sugar, you can also add a... Uh, You can also add cinnamon, nutmeg. Y'all know I like a lot of I like nutmeg on my stuff, but on this I will probably use uh, I will probably use cinnamon. Now you don't want it real sweet, or I don't. This is gonna give it that sweetness. But Bailey will like these too. Okay, I'm gonna stick it in the oven. You'll see what I've done. Just a little bit of brown sugar and butter. Uh oh, I've got to I mean, move y'all out of the way. I've got a skillet in the oven. Ah! Seems like I can't get organized even when I'm organized. Y'all notice I kind of move my kitchen around. Now this I have to cook probably about an hour, hour and a half. I'll show y'all my kitchen here in a minute. And this stove, it seems like I cannot keep it clean. Uh, I had a black stove before and uh, it was awful. I thought it was awful to keep clean, but I'm telling y'all, this white one is horrible. I don't know if it's, it's made funny. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I'm not going to complain about that. I'm just chit-chatting with y'all. Okay, so 
I put my coffee, little coffee bar right there. And I moved all that stuff. Uh, I'm wanting to get a hand, a hand can opener and get that off. I want some counter space. Now, I'm going to show you all this over here, but it's messy right now, so don't, don't pay no attention. I've had cleaning stuff out and stuff. So, remember my coffee pot was here. Uh, after fall, that little, that pumpkin will be up. And my yellow dish, I'll probably put it away. And my, after the holidays, my food processor will be put away. And by the way, I used this little one the other night. Y'all, that, that works great. But uh, after the holidays, I'll put my big food processor away and just keep the little one out. And then, let's see, what else did I do? Over here, I put my, my air fryer. And it's gave me, it's gave me up some counter space. Uh, not a lot, but it's better than what it was, I think. Anyways, I'll bring y'all back when this uh, butternut squash gets done. And I am going to keep some of those seeds. I just thought maybe, I don't know. You know, in an apartment, it's hard to grow anything. Uh, I've got a patio out that I can, you know, grow it on. But the thing is, is starting it and having the right, the right sunshine and all that under my patio and my window. I've got one, two, three, four windows and they all face the same way. And it's, I've tried to grow tomatoes. I've tried to grow plain old house plants and it's it's really hard to grow in here but i'm gonna try a couple of those seeds and we'll see what happens give us something to do uh next year okay when it gets done i'll bring y'all back okay guys we're back yum 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 now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna move you back a little bit is trying to get you up here where you can see well hope you can see let's try this there we go i'm going to scrape it out and i'm going to put it in this little container Because I can't eat all this tonight. So. Like I say, you can. You can do it any way you want. Just about. You can make it a savory. Salty. Sweet. Uh, it's totally up to you. It's something that's good for you. And it's really hot. But I'm try what I'm trying to do is get it on out. So I got a fix supper. I'm fixing a, a chicken nuggets. I'm not cooking them. I'm just fixing them out of the bag. Uh, I got, I'm tired of cooking, so I've had to give myself a little bit of a break. These are the, uh, ones from, well, you can get them at Walmart or Kroger. And they're the ones that are, they're low carb. Uh, they're ca called real good. And they really are good. And I've got some salad. I'm going to uh, put them on top of salad. And then have a side of this. I should have let it cool down, but 
I need to turn my oven off Ouch. because my uh, nuggets I'm going to fix in the air fryer. Let's do it like this. Does, Sherry. It might make it a little bit easier. Uh, I've had butternut soup before. And I did not care for it. Boy, it's messy, ain't it? It's me being messy. Seems like since I've gotten older, y'all, I'm getting messier. That's all right. I clean up after myself. You want all that goodness. I can't wait to get a pumpkin. Make some delicious pumpkin pie. No, you can you can make the pumpkin uh like this and just scrape it out and eat it also do it basically the same way as i'm doing this put a little butter on it and some brown sugar and you don't want the pillin i don't know why i'm putting the pillin in there but you don't want that next one i'll peel All right. And hopefully get a get a uh, a better knife. See if I had a peeled it, I wouldn't have to be worried about all these little things. Okay. Let's put a tad bit of brown sugar in it. I know I put some on top, but we're going to put a little bit more in there. And then we're going to add some cinnamon. Oh, and you, you can add vanilla also if you'd like. It's totally up to you. I should have used my honey, but I done started with brown sugar, so... Uh, I don't know how that would be to start over. I guess it would be fine. You put your cinnamon. Let's kind of stir it up. Some more peeling. I should have peeled it, I guess, shouldn't I? I don't know why I never have. But I was a little bit stronger uh, back then, too, with my cutting things. You can put this in the food processor if you want, but uh, I don't see no need of doing that. Alright, let's see what this tastes like. It's got stringies on it like a pumpkin. Mmm, that's delicious. It's it's a little sweet, but it's not a overpowering sweet. Mmm, I like that. It's good, and it's something that's good for you and healthy. Mm. I'm going to go get some more. I got, I think I told y'all, I got this one at Aldi's. I know it's like $2.14. Don't even get to see it. But, uh, I just bought this one. 
And then I need to go find me a, a good knife. Mm-mm-mm, it's good, y'all. Okay, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. I might add a tad of honey to that also. And then I may go ahead and add some vanilla. I don't know. But it's really good just like it is. Y'all leave me a comment. Let me know how you fix yours. Or if you if you eat butternut squash. Also like a acorn squash. And uh, now my acorn squash, I fix it exactly the same way. I put butter, brown sugar, uh, and cinnamon on it. I don't know if that's a southern thing or not, but that's how all my family did it. Uh, and of course, that's how, how I do it. So, like I said, I don't know if it's a southern thing or what, but they all fixed it like that. You know, with the brown sugar and the butter, cinnamon, or maybe they just did it so we would eat it. Who, who knows? <laughs> And there's nobody there to ask no more. You know, they're all gone. So, there's no one there to ask anymore. Anyways, I hope y'all have a blessed day. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you make yours. Welcome my new subscribers. I should have said that at the beginning. I, it's one of my days today where I, everything I'm doing is kind of backwards. But I welcome my new subscribers. Uh, let me know where you're from. You don't have to put the city and the state. Just let me put the uh, state where you're from. And let me know if you eat this butternut squash. And let me know if you eat acorn squash. I'll talk to y'all later. I hope y'all have a blessed day. And y'all behave yourselves out there. Don't get in no trouble while I'm gone. I'll talk to you later. Bye.